Hi viewers, welcome to the 6th series of our urban gardening. So today I am going to talk to you all about aquaponics and I will be also showing you how to DIY a small aquaponics system at home. Aquaponics refers to a combined system of raising fish with hydroponic system in a symbiotic environment. So if you haven't watched my video on hydroponic system, please do watch it. I will be leaving the link in the description box below. In every aquaponic system, there is a cycle happening. Fish produces waste which contains ammonia. Then the microorganism in it converts ammonia to nitrate which is then used by the plants. Then when the plants absorb these nitrates, it gives clean alterated water for the fish and the cycle repeats. Now let's see how to DIY a small aquaponic system at home. It is very similar as setting up hydroponic system as I have shown in the previous video. So you first need to make a hole in the lid of the container to place the plant in it. Then you need to make another small hole to pass the air pipe. Wash and remove all the dirt or soil from the roots of the plant. I am using a herb plant here. Insert the net through the lid and add some clay balls. Then place the plant on the clay balls and add some more clay balls to make it sturdy. The next step is to add water until the brim of the container. Now let me show you all how to set it up. I have arranged it on top of my refrigerator. First, I made a platform to place the air pump. As my air pump was not of good quality, I had to place it in a certain height to get a correct pressure. The air pump is connected to the wall which will help us to adjust the flow of the air. Then it is again connected to a T-shaped connector as you see here. I had to use 5 connectors for 5 containers. After you have arranged the containers how you want, pass the open-ended pipe which is connected to the connector through the small hole of the container. Now plug the air pump to the power and make sure that the air flows equally to all containers. If not, you will have to adjust moving the pipe or pinching it a little. So now as it is partially ready, you will have to leave it for a week for all the chlorine to bubble out before you add the fish. After a week, you can see the roots have started growing out of the net. Now it's time to add the fish. We get variety of fishes if you go to the local pet market here in Kuwait. So according to my experience, guppy fishes works best for the system. Anyway, you can ask the shopkeeper that if the fish you choose will eat the roots of the plants or not. If it doesn't, it will work the best. Then slowly add the fishes to the containers. 
As the containers were not too big, I kept one fish in each container. So now the simple DIY aquaponic system is ready. But remember, you need to feed the fish with very little food twice in a week. Last year, I had goldfish in this system. It looked very cute, but gradually it started destroying the roots. Then I replaced it with guppy fishes, which worked the best. Every 5 to 6 months, this needs to be cleaned as algae starts forming inside. Transfer the fish to another container and replace the aquaponics container with fresh tap water. But remember, you should add the fish back only after 24 hours when all the chlorine in the water have bubbled out. Unfortunately, two of my fishes died due to uneven flow of air inside the container, but the other three survived. So that's it for today. Hope this video was helpful. See you all next time. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.